Hey guys, what's up? This is Recreational 420, where we give you the most in-depth reviews as efficiently as possible. And today, we're gonna check out this Betty Page RSO by RSO Go. And with that, let's hop right into the numbers. So, THCA, or THC comes in at 77.42. They don't really have a whole lot of anything else in there. But as you guys know, I don't really buy my cannabis based off of THC. I buy it off of a different, you know, a whole bunch of different factors that I'll go into in a different video here in the near future. Uh, and with that, let me break down. So RSO, this is what RSO is. Let's see. RSO, RSO Go is extracted with Essential Innovations Patented Pending. <laughs> patent pending system using 100% pure grain alcohol. This results in, a, in oil containing both polar and non-polar properties, giving you the most complete oil on the market today. So what that means is this is extracted using uh, alcohol. It is not extracted using any sort of butane or propane or any sort of the, like those chemicals. This is an alcohol extraction base. And um, with that, let's get right into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Um, I think I should have, oh, nope. Nice. So I did that and that popped right out. Let me see. Something just flew and I'm not really sure what it is, but I hope it wasn't important. <laughs> anyway, so this is what we got. Let me zoom in for you guys real quick. So this is the RSO Go uh, applicator. And as you guys saw in my last video for them, um, this is all you do. You take this off and then you just squeeze this onto either your dabber or if you're gonna eat this and go with the uh, edible form of this, then you're gonna put this on like a piece of bread. Or if you guys saw my Instagram, a little piece of tortilla. <laughs> and then you're just gonna parachute it with some water, uh, swallow it, and then let it do its thing. With that, I'm really excited to go try this and I'll be back again with you guys in a couple of days to let you know how this went hey guys what's up so i went ahead and tried that betty page rso and as far as the flavor is concerned when you dab it um, it does have a little bit of like this floral kind of flavor that that kind of hangs around for a bit um, when you eat it since i don't really recommend and most people don't just like put this stuff directly on their tongue because you just don't want to do that um, you, you parachute it basically in like a piece of bread or a tortilla <laughs> and then and so you don't really get any flavor when you eat it um, as far as the high is concerned this one was kind of different than the last RSO so if you remember the last one um, it kind of had a different high when you uh, dabbed it than versus when you ate it this one didn't do that so this was the exact same high pretty much um, both both ways whether you ate it or you you smoked it and that was a energetic happy kind of like uplifting euphoric almost kind of high um, the only real difference is when you ate it you did kind of get a little bit more of the behind the eyes kind of like tiredness um, so you, you get a little bit more drowsiness with with you know eating it um, than you do when you dab it but not really a whole lot just just a little bit sensation wise um, but as far as this goes, I would definitely recommend it. If you're a newbie, again, this is an RSO, so it is still strong. Take it light. Um, give yourself plenty of time, especially if you're going to eat it, before you take some more so you don't end up getting too much and then having a really bad time because nobody really likes that. So with all that, if you guys enjoy what I'm doing and you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and hit that sub button. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you follow the page. This has been Recreational 420, and I'll be back again with you guys soon.